So why does this happen in a tadpole trike configuration? What happens when you lose traction on the rear wheel? And why does the velomobile or the trike want to spin around to where the back wheel is facing forward? Let's talk about it. Using a humble Lego pod racer. So let's say that this is the rear wheel and these are the two front wheels. When you have a recumbent trike rider, the person sitting here, the center of mass is here behind the front wheels. So the center of mass is here in front of the rear wheel. Basically what happens when you have a correctly functioning rear tire, which means that it is aired up and it's getting traction. As the cyclist pedals, sometimes there is pedal steer, which is actually causing the trike to wobble. The reason it doesn't flip around then is because the rear wheel still maintains traction with the road. Even though the center of mass is behind the pivot point or the point of drag because the rear wheel is providing power and thrust to go forward. So the center of mass with the rider is here. When this rear wheel loses traction, the center of mass wants to rotate around because the biggest part, the fattest part, always wants to lead the way. And so if it were a perfect world, say the rear wheel was on ice or something like that and you got going with enough momentum, it would swing around like this and then you would simply slide like this. In the case of what happened in Bill's accident, the rear wheel lost traction by going over the bumps, real tiny bumps, the rumble strips. Each little bounce, so it would it would bump and catch, bump and catch, bump and catch, bump and catch. But each time it was it was moving. The center of mass was wanting to go in front of the pivot point of the front wheels. And it happened in such a rapid pace. As you heard, it probably hit 10 or 12 of the bumps, the individual bumps. And by the time that it, it was moved forward enough to get off of the rumble strips, and settle down, the, the bike was almost sideways. To which Bill was counter steering, trying to come back this way, making, because then the rear wheel had traction and he was trying to make it come back in line. So at the point that you see, the velo had started to tip because now you also have the center of mass still wanting to go in this general direction. The center of mass wanted to tip, but then the back wheel caught and gained traction and tried to get back around because Bill was also counter steering. So it tried to get back around. And when it, then when it slammed down in such a violent manner, right next to the truck, well now the momentum is starting to roll this way. And that's what caused him to roll like this on his side and then slide. And as you notice, as he slid, the center of mass still rotated around, which is why he ended up in the road backwards. Does the same thing. So the center of mass was still in the same place, it's just that the plane of rotation had changed just a little bit. And the velomobile ended up on its side like this. And pieces were falling off the velomobile too. So that's essentially what happens because you have the center of mass, you have it's, it's all has to do with the moment of inertia and all these other complicated math formulas that I don't know about. But anyway, that's what happened. 
started to rum hit the rumble strips with just the rear tire now if he had hit the rumble strips with the front tire it would have just bumped around made some noise no big deal but he happened to hit it with the rear tire which caused the bouncing which caused him to start to tip like this then it grabbed and it's tried to pull itself around and had he been able to just land like this and then he might have been able to just skirt by the truck and then come back and bring it in line but because because he had flipped up like this and then the moment the momentum was so violent caused him to tip like this right by the truck which the truck never saw him and then as you saw the center of mass still rotated around towards the front that's kind of what happens i hope that is a good explanation of what happened it's just a basic model and it's it, it, it it's it's funny to say that it's basic physics because I don't really know basic physics I don't know the math I don't know everything about it but that's kind of the way it happens and that's why it happens it could happen on a recumbent trike as easily as it could happen on a velomobile it's just something that if you ride a recumbent trike that's a tadpole configuration you need to know about so I hope that helps. If not, you know, just do some Google searching and look it up on the web and you will find all kinds of things about moment of inertia, center of gravity, center of mass, all these other physics equations that will show you how this works and you can do it mathematically and figure out why this happened. There are several videos out there of Velmobiles that have started to slide like this and then, you know, the rider just kind of let it go and as he grabbed, he had time. To recover there are people who talk about having flats that didn't happen to be filming at the time so they have a rear wheel flat and the back becomes really uncontrollable and they just hit the brakes and just slow down as much as they can without crashing there are reports of velomobile people and trike riders who get a rear wheel flat and end up crashing because there's just you, there's nothing you can do to control it there's once that rear wheel loses stability and it's not grabbing anymore that's what tends to happen on on a tadpole configuration. I hope that helped to clear up what happened and why it happens and it's because of a lot of physics things and a lot of mathematical formulas that that are figured out by people that are a lot smarter than me but I understand the principle and how it works so when I'm riding and when I'm outgoing and I'm bombing down hills at 40 miles an hour it's always in the back of my mind what happens if the rear tire goes and I'm always looking what am I gonna do where am I gonna go what am I gonna steer and my hands are always on the brakes ready to slow down ready to hit the brakes and I mean if I'm gonna crash I'm gonna crash it's part of what happens in this sport it sure would be hard to mess up the paint job on on that beautiful villain will be on and I don't know if I could keep it if I messed up the stickers anyway so there you go, there's what happened, and uh, I think that's the easiest way I could explain it to you. So thanks for watching, make sure you subscribe, hit that subscription button, hit the little bell icon to get notifications when I put up a video. And until next time, cheers. <laughs>